Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful time. It's a very early morning here in Bangkok. It's almost 5.30. And today we are taking a break from Bangkok, the hustle and bustle of this beautiful city, and heading to one of the most beautiful places that is located just three hours away from Bangkok. In today's vlog, we are going to visit some of the most famous places in Kanchanaburi, starting from temples into historical places, and also one of the most amazing, beautiful waterfalls that is also located in Kanchanaburi. So it will be a very interesting vlog, and if you are interested to explore a beautiful place that is not so far from Bangkok and know what are the things that you can do there, then you have to watch the vlog till the end. So first of all, let's take our car and start our today's beautiful journey to Kanchanaburi. Let's go! It's still dark, so we have around 2-3 hours drive from Bangkok to Kanchanaburi. So let's enjoy some beautiful views of this early morning from Bangkok and see you in a coffee shop so that we can have a coffee and wake up a little bit. I'm not a morning person. Let's go. As you saw, we moved around 6.15, now it's around 7.30, almost one and a half hour of driving. This is Amazon coffee, uh, let's go inside and check what can we drink, refresh ourselves and wake up a little bit. So here we are, after two and a half hours from Bangkok. We are in a peaceful place in central Thailand, which is called Kanchanaburi. Our first stop will be this beautiful temple behind me, which is called Wat Tam Sia. So we're gonna explore this temple and after that continue our today's beautiful journey, escaping Bangkok and exploring central Thailand, exactly Kanchanaburi. So let's walk, explore this temple and continue our today's beautiful vlog from this amazing places. So it seems that we have a long way up. I don't know how many stairs. Check this out guys. Oh my god. And I think they have a way of transportation from there. But we are climbing and doing some sport in the morning. Well, it's a really long way to climb up, but you have a beautiful view from here. Let me show you. So that was Wat Tam Suwa, a peaceful spiritual place to visit along the way. Now we are back to take our cars and check what will be our next stop in Kanchanaburi. Let's go! So 15 minutes driving from the temple, here we are at the second stop of today. So this is 10 minutes away from the temple that we came from. Another peaceful place to enjoy some green moments and I'm sure you are liking this gigantic old tree. Let's go inside and check. The details are written in Thai. And this is so huge. Look at this. So beautiful. This is the Green Park. Next to the historical tree, there are other trees here. 
but I think that's the oldest one let me show you a little bit around before we continue our today's vlog which is about escaping or taking a break from Bangkok So that was the giant tree which is called the monkey tree i don't see any monkeys here it's a really nice place to come and sit enjoy some calm moments now let's go back to the car and head to the third station of today let's go So here we are after 30 minutes drive from that historical beautiful tree now we are at one of the most famous landmarks in Kanchanaburi which is the World War II bridge I've seen it lots of time in the movies in the YouTube now it's time to explore it and check it what is it about this World War II bridge let's check it This is the first time I'm exploring something from the World War II but the history of this place is so painful so this bridge was constructed in the Japanese invasion to Thailand and 100,000 laborers, prisoners died from Europe while they were constructing this bridge so this is the river Kaui, it's a beautiful river, they have lots of resorts on this river and it seems that there is a temple at that side. This is the end of the bridge and from here you can go down but it's a little bit scary to slidey. So that's the war camp at that side and if you like to go down i think that one is better no. from this one so let's try to go down from that place it's a little bit dangerous at the end of this bridge you don't have barriers at both sides but i think it's worth to see what we have downstairs because we came all this way so this way is better to go down that side is a little bit dangerous we don't want to end breaking our legs all right we are here in one piece That was the World War Bridge and of course beside that you can check also the cemetery and the museum of the World War that is located next to the bridge. Now we are going to the fourth stop of today which will be the most beautiful. So if you are excited, check it. Here we are after 45 minutes of drive from that World War Bridge. Now we are at the most exciting spot of today's vlog, which is the waterfall called Air One Waterfall. So we are here. As you see, we have changed also our clothes. Let's check this famous waterfall in Kanchanaburi. Let me give you an information along the way that you have to pay money in order to get to this national park which is Erwin National Park the waterfall and for Thais it's only 100 baht and for foreigners it's 300 baht so that's the entrance fee all 
All right, here we are finally. So this is Air One National Park and they have seven levels from level one till level seven. So what's the difference? The first one is 20 meter, then it goes up till you reach 1550 meters, the seventh level. Okay, so it was like, oh my God, you could take a car to reach here. We have walked all the way. Well, we have done some sport. It's around five minutes walking. See guys, if you see this vlog, you will save a lot of energy. Along the way, you have toilets at the beginning and the life jackets. I don't know if they are included in the fee that we have paid 300, but don't allow to swim without life jackets. So I think it's like 20 baht per two hours, 120 baht each. So here we are, fashion up. These are the life jackets. These are the life jackets, only 20 baht. So let's see what else we are going to pay before we see this waterfall. Here we are. This is the main entrance of the first level. As you can see, there is a sign in each level. So the first level, I don't know what's written there, Halai Quen Rang. That's the first level. Let's check it. All right, now we are heading to the second level and it's a good thing that you have a restroom in each level. So the second level, 20 meter walking to the left or if you want to continue, you can go straight 150 meter walking to the third level. Let's check the second level. Feeding the monkeys are prohibited. It seems that you have monkeys also in this waterfall. Wow, this is much more beautiful. I think when the level is up, the beauty is up too. This is the second level. No food and drinks beyond this point. So, if you want to eat, eat it before level 3. Level 3 is 150 meters. And if we want to walk till level 7, which is Pupa Erwan, 1290 meters, which is more than 1 kilometer. Level 4 is that side, level 3 is this side. Let's check. Each level has its own name. Wow, this is level three. That was level three, so the levels are not straight it means that level one, then after level two, after that level three is at the left, level four back right. So you have to follow the signs in order to know which level to go. Now we are going to level four. As you can see, level four is at the right side and level three is at the left side. You have to be very careful while you are walking here. It's kind of sliding but it's okay not that much now let's check level four and see of course it should be more beautiful than level three i think so let's go as you can see that's the way we came from so it's not only checking the waterfalls, also 
checking your strength now as you can hear from my voice that I am doing some gym along the way it's really nice to visit this waterfall Erwin waterfall in Kanchaburi but at the same time you have to be very careful and sportive so be fit once you come here grab your all energies and check all the levels if you can now we are at the level four and here you can jump if you want so this level is called ok nang pi su that's the name of the level i don't know i'm reading it so this is level four here we are and 450 meters to level five all right let's check level five Well, let me tell you something we have just passed by level 5 and I didn't thought that that was level 5 after 12 minutes of walking now we have a sign level 6 <laughs> all right level 6 is not so far from level 5 so level 4 and level 5 are so far from each other and level 6 is just two minutes walking so check this out enjoy the view let's take some pictures Concerning swimming, I think you can swim at level 1 and level 2 Maximum to level 3, but level 3 was Forbidden to swim. So if you want to swim swim in the first level and the second level But if you want to take some beautiful pictures, you can walk till level 7 So we still have one level. Let's take some pictures here and Hopefully level 7 is not that much far hallelujah guys we are at level seven and look what the sign says you are a conqueror yeah indeed oh my god 40 minutes of walking from level one here we are yes we are the conqueror live love thailand and my subscribers this is level seven look at that so so beautiful it's so beautiful and i'm so tired let us check the view from here all right so we climb all the way 1000 around 1300 meters i'm gonna enter the water now i deserve it and Hopefully, I won't fall in the water with my camera. So, this is level 7 and we are walking inside level 7. This is the beautiful waterfall. So, if you like to see the most beautiful part of this waterfalls, walking in cool water and checking these breathtaking views from up above, then you have to walk all the way all right that was the end of the journey and we are conquerors as you saw we have done the seven levels and if you are here do it you saw all the challenges but it's really nice too many bees too many ants at the level seven but the view is breathtaking can take so much beautiful pictures now the challenge is to go back and take our cars back to the hotel that we are going to check in so beautiful i'm gonna make a review about this hotel it's a floating hotel on river kawi it's so beautiful so keep an eye on our channel i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you for watching stay tuned and subscribe for more from live love highland <laughs>